How to invest in the stock market. Hi guys, my name is Jan. I'm the founder of The Present. And in this channel, we'll be talking about business, finance, and life-related matters. So if you're interested about those topics, don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will get notified. Now, this topic is one of the frequently asked questions that we get in our comment section, specifically on Facebook. It's because a lot of people are talking about the stock market nowadays, right? And it's primarily also because of what happened during the pandemic, wherein the stock index is going down, specifically in the Philippine market or last um, March, right? It has been, you know, plummeted for quite some time or like a big time, okay? And that's the reason why a lot of people are interested about this thing. And that's the reason why we wanted to shoot a video about this because instead of just answering it through chat, we're just gonna send this video as a response to it, <laughs> right? It's one of the best ways to do it. Okay, so here we go. When it comes to investing in the stock market, by the way, disclaimer first, this is for you. This video is definitely for you if you are new, right? Mean to say you are a rookie in terms of investing in the stock market or you literally don't have an idea as to how to make it happen, okay? So at least you know that you're not gonna waste your time if in case you are already advanced level. Here we go. Three things. Number one is you need to have a brokerage account. That's the first step, okay? You need to have a brokerage account. What do, what do I mean? If you wanna invest in the stock market, you need to have access to the market, right? And in order for you to access the market, you need to have a middleman. This middleman is what you call the stock broker, okay? So in my case, what I use specifically in the Philippines, I use First Metro Securities, which you can just check their website in firstmetrosec.com.ph. If I wanna invest in the US market, for example, Google, Facebook, right? And those companies and Apple, then I'm gonna use eToro. That's what I use in my personal account. The moment you open an account in a brokerage firm, that's not the end of the game, right? That's just the first step, okay? So the second step is for you to fund it. That means you're gonna deposit money into your brokerage account so that you have the funds to buy shares of a company, right? For example, if you wanna buy um, Jollibee, okay? It doesn't mean that you have a brokerage account, automatically you have an investment in the stock market. That's what a lot of people are thinking, especially the newbies. And it's not, it's not really their fault, right? Because they don't have a clue. That's the reason why they're asking this question in order for them to know what's the answer to the question. And so this is the answer to it, okay? When you have a brokerage account, right? You need to fund it. How will you fund it? You have to go to a bank or you can also do mobile banking. That's the new thing nowadays, mobile banking. And upon funding it, still, it doesn't mean that you are already an investor in the stock market. That's just step number two. Step number three is the time where you invest. Meaning to say, you're going to position an order or trade in a specific stock or index, right? And then that's when the order is complete, that's the time you have invested in that certain stock. Are you getting it so far? So if you notice, this is basically a step-by-step -step process. Step number one, once again, is you need to open an account in a brokerage firm. The second thing is you need to fund it. Number three is you need to study the stock first before you invest. So see, so that's the basic thing of you investing in the stock market. So I hope this video helped you out in any way in terms of understanding the super basic thing about the stock market okay obviously later down the line we're going to discuss more about it in detail as to how you can really buy and things like that it really depends on what the market's demanding from us right and speaking of which let us know what are the other topics you want us to share in this channel through the comment section as long as it's related to business finance and life related matters if this video added any value to you in any way don't forget to hit the like button so that it will help us increase our YouTube channel. Thank you very much. See you on the next video.